Many recipes call for shredded ingredients, which is why a cheese grater is an indispensable kitchen tool. Depending on which type of blade or blades a grater has, you can coarsely shred to finely grate not just cheese, but also potatoes and vegetables. Graters come in different sizes, shapes, and configurations. From flat models with one blade, to box graters with a different blade on each side. The blades are made from a stainless steel sheet that's just half a millimeter thick. The sheet enters a shearing machine where a die descends and cuts the blade shape, holes and all. The machine's dies are interchangeable, so when it's time to produce a different model, workers simply remove this die and install another one. Stainless steel is the ideal blade material because it's food safe, durable and rust proof. For this model, the next step is to curve the blade. They insert it into a press that bends it with a rounded die. The press also turns over the edges along three sides, forming a channel for a handle. The handle is made of stainless steel wire. A bending machine wraps it around a greater shaped form. Then cuts the end free, releasing what is now a finished handle. Now for this model's final assembly. Workers slide a handle into the blade's channels. Next, they put the blade in a press, which forces the channels closed, encasing the wire. With the handle and blade now locked together, the grater is finished. Another model has a built-in tray to collect the grated food. This machine forms the pivoting handle, which enables the blade to stand upright in the tray. First, the machine cuts a strip of stainless steel to the required length. It makes holes for a rivet on each side, then it bends the piece to a U-shape. Meanwhile, a forming press shapes the tray out of a stainless steel sheet. The tray moves to the next press, which slices off the excess from the perimeter. The tray is now completely formed. All that's left to do is punch a hole on each side for the rivets, which attach the handle that props up the blade. They take the handle and rivet it to one end of the blade. Next, they rivet the tray to the other end of the blade. And the grater is fully assembled. This company packages certain models in blister packs. Workers put the grater in a clear plastic cover, then position a printed cardboard backing over it. The backing is coated with transparent, heat-activated glue. A few seconds under a hot press, and the plastic cover adheres to the backing, encapsulating the grater. From a basic version on up, the grater is an essential kitchen tool most cooks can't do without.